That's where the disciples were. Man, it's coming apart. This is Jerusalem. This is the sinner. And they're going there to die. They're going there to be persecuted. They're going there to face some of the most horrendous things. And this is not a pleasant time. And Jesus knew it. And so the text I read to you is a text of compassion where Jesus looks at his disciples and he knows. And he also knows that he's got to get them beyond the cross. And that's what he addresses. For instance, they're, they're scared to death. <laughs> and he says... He addresses it. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. You scared? Me too. I mean, Kipling's, what was that verse that we all memorized in high school? If you can be calm when nobody around you is being calm, then you... Or a man, my son. No, you're not. You're a fruitcake. This is a hard, this is a hard world. I mean, the suicides that we've experienced in the last week from our celebrities. I had a man come up to me this morning and talk about a suicide in his family. It's a hard world where it's easy to be rejected, to be on the outside when you want to be on the inside. When you deal with your abuse and your issues and it just eats you alive, this is not a safe place. I used to uh, wonder what I'd do if I'd come to the place where I was good chance I was going to die or a place where I would lose everything. Do you know I went through that? during Hurricane Andrew. Oh, man, I thought we were going to die. I really did. When our roof went and we lost everything, it was awful. You say, but, but it was okay because you're a Christian. No, it wasn't okay. I was still scared. But listen to my witness. Jesus was there. And he said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe and hang on to God, hang on to me. And I did, sort of. The disciples did too, and it got them beyond the cross. Got me there too, and we'll get you there too.